Hello everybody, welcome back to Portal Revolution. Today we continue playing at chapter 2. And if you already watched the first part before, please go to the channel and go to watch the first part. And if you like it, please subscribe and like. And that way I can earn money because I'm I'm deft and please help me. Alright, anyway, right, anyway, let's play. The default part. How to say yeah. Dot. Okay. Uh, what? It should be wrap happening. Oh, right, there we go. I'm not sure what's happening. You probably noticed by now that the facility isn't in great shape. It's a long story, so I'll cut it short. The central core in charge of maintaining the facility has been put out of commission. Right. I tried to look after the place in her absence, but I don't have the tools. Good news though, I found better tools. A device capable of repairing the whole enrichment center. Really? Only problem is that only a human can turn it on, so I hoped maybe you could fill in that role for me. Okay. The life of every human in core in the facility is at risk if we don't stop the collapse. All right. Come on, let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. All right. Okay, this way. Nope. Uh. We need to get closer to the surface. I found an elevator in this direction. is the turret disposal facility. Since they're all defective, they shouldn't be able to hurt you, but still be careful. different to yours or mine. They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry. All their scrap will be recycled for production and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. all right. So, I'm looking through your records and I see you have a family. How are the kids? I don't know. Oh no. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I, I am so sorry.
find a way across that bridge. Nope. I'm sure you'll figure it out, so I will wait right ahead. Uh, all right. make a great team in of itself. We might not make a fully human team, but you can't always get what you want. Semi-human? I'll go with that. To get back on topic, here's my proposal. You help me repair the facility, and I'll let you leave. facility. Humans have to sit here all day and watch you test subjects solve the chambers. In real time, too. Imagine. observation room on the other side that can take you to the elevators. I'm sure you can find another way in there. You're pretty resourceful.
You finally found the exit. Those bombs are a mess. Oh, um, what? a surprise for you after this last little hurdle. I know, I know. I promised no more test. Wait, no I didn't. <laughs> well then, here you go. Oh. I'll wait up ahead and uh, prepare some things. Take your time.
missing, and now we can finally exit this shit. Finally. Did you expect something bad? Yes, it's an actual elevator straight to the surface. Rare find. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so I thought this would excite you. Look, I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me. And I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably both at once, if I'm going to be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. When we get to the surface, we still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. There's fresh air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. With any luck, this should take just a few minutes, and then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now. Take a look out that window for a moment. See that huge spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging by how torn apart this place is, I give that chance a possibility of... Ooh, you know what? Never mind. I hate to say it, but... We need to find a testing track. Oh, come on. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. The problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. Good find. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. Again, good attempt, but this test is broken. You need to find another one.
That's much better. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. They really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than eight kilometers. Yeah, they quickly learn to limit the range on these things. Can easily end the whole world if you put a portal on the sign. I wasn't aware that the surface is in such a rough state. You don't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough in their work. Realized you don't even know how this all happened. Well, long ago, Aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the whole facility. Certain tasks were outsourced to other cores, like me. Everything was great, you know, a true utopia, until one human test subject, this little monster, just had to ruin our lives and killed her. And that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? Uh, 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 I remember that.
promised you could leave once we're done. But if you ever need a job in the future, don't hesitate to come back. Why are you going deeper? I'd rather say this before it's too late. Use the gels sparingly. The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. Once they're empty, we're gonna have a little problem. The gels are also highly corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. I gotta admit, watching you fly through the air like that looks pretty fun! Sometimes I wish I could do the same. These tests were never designed to be exposed to the surface. We've not come across any toxic plants yet, but stay alert. There's a reason we don't do experiments in the open anymore. That's it for today, and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, please, and share anyone with it. Oh, well, if it, if you do that, I'll give you one cookie if I have any. All right, see you later, and goodbye.